Project TV. The year is 2084. If they told me what the world would become, I would not have believed them. First, there was the nanophage, the disease of transition, a digital plague that swept across the land, killing thousands upon thousands of augmented souls. A heavy cost for meddling with our minds and bodies. Then came the war, the big one. The great decimation. The West killed the East. The East killed the West. There were no winners. Except for Cairo. The corporation seized power and forged the Fifth Polish Republic. A crooked empire of blood and ash. There was no one left to oppose them. But still, we endured, and so it goes. The rich get richer as the poor rot away in their hovels, desperately looking for ways to escape reality. I am what they fear, a corporate tool of oppression, a despised leech that creeps into your dreams and feeds of your fears. If you don't remember, if you won't remember, that's when they call me. To access you, to gather evidence, to dredge up whatever's hiding in the darkest corners of your mind. My name is Daniel Lozelski. I'm an observer. Hello, and welcome to Jake TV. Thanks for tuning in. We are back with a new game called Observer. Uh, as you heard from the little intro there, it's going to be an interesting game, and I've been wanting to play this for quite a while, so I think we just want to get straight into it and see what's going on. For those of you who don't know, if you've heard of the game Layers of Fear, this is made by the exact same people. I'll be quiet so you can listen to this. Come in, Lazarski. Look at that pretty face. Lazarski, you there? Yeah, what do I hit? This one? Yeah, got it. Woo! Yeah, I'm here. You okay there? I've been hailing you for the past five minutes. I'm fine. I must have dozed off. No rest for the wicked. How's the dream meter treating you? Ooh. Well, I'm not a vegetable yet. Could have fooled me. Hardy heart. <laughs> I'm serious, Dan. Your signal's all over the place. Have you taken your meds? Oh. Not yet. Sure, don't worry about it. Not in a while. Do it now. I need you in good shape. Ooh, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at me. I'm such a nice old man. Medication. Ooh. Ah. I don't think that this is uh, exactly what he wants. There you go. Looking better already. Yeah. Wouldn't want me to mess up. Can you see the headlines? Another leech goes berserk. Don't be like that. It's just... Yeah, yeah. What's Any this about? Me? Just checking in, or you need me downtown? Nah, just a checkup. No one left for you to interrogate. Sounds pretty bad. Yep, not pretty. The explosion leveled half a block. The place is still on fire. Corporate goons all over the place, <laughs> securing the area. Covering your tracks, you mean? Oh. Um. Careful what you say. This is a monitor channel. Who is this? How'd you get this frequency? Don't you recognize me? No. Adam? Yes. Oh. Well, what's left of me? Dad. What happened? Where where have you been all this time? Away from you. <laughs> it's funny. I thought it would be easier to hear your voice after all these years. But you 
really isn't. That's come on, Adam. Don't start. I really thought I could pull it off. You know? I was so close to making a difference. To setting us all free. And now it's can't be for nothing. Doesn't matter. Tell me where you are. I'll come and get you. Shit. Dad. For once in your life, just listen to me. Yeah, Dad. Whatever happens, I need you to remember. You're not in control. Adam. Can you hear me? You still there? Adam. God damn it. Dad? Dad. Matriarch. Display caller ID. Displaying now. Krabinski. That's, That's new. new. Matriarch, locate source of last call. Triangulating coordinates. Come on. Location established. Tenement building. Class C district. Well, let's go. Jesus. Adam, the stacks. He just had to hit bottom, huh? Off we go. Rock fucking. <laughs> Yum. Well, yeah, this is gonna be good. This is very different so far from Layers of Fear. This seems like it's gonna be a lot more... I don't want to say the last one wasn't story-driven, but... It was definitely a psychological horror, and I think this one's definitely going to have very similar elements, but I think that it's going to have, like, a storyline that's a little bit more linear, like, you go through, you see exactly what's happening, as opposed to kind of fragments of someone's mind through art. But yeah, feels good to be back into a horror game. It's been a little while. It's been too long. Life is crazy. So, from what I've gathered from, like, the description of this game and stuff like that is that you're, like, some sort of detective. You're an observer, which means that you can hack into people's minds and figure out exactly what happened see what they saw. I'm excited for this game. Krakow! Alrighty. Whoa. That's different. Hey. Oh, God! Okay. Well, hello. Need to get out. Okay. Easy there, Tin Man. I'm not looking for trouble. Oh. Tenant? Huh? Oh. Yes. Um, sort of. Name. Grabinski. Grabinski. Leon Grabinski. Tenant. Oh. Apartment 7. Uh. Oh, ground floor. Through the courtyard. Turn right, turn left. Straight ahead, turn right. Okay. Yeah, I got it. Backwards and forwards. Thanks. Mm, door open. YG, thank you. Ooh, what's up here? Arado, impeccable sound recording quality, even under the harshest conditions. Oh, that's neat. Wow, this is so interesting. All right, well. Attention, citizens. Curfew is now in effect in all Class C districts. Remain in your apartments and enjoy your chosen holiday. Thank you for your cooperation. Oh. Okay, so there's a little bit of, uh, open, not, I wouldn't say open world access, but I don't think this is where I'm exactly supposed to be. 
What is that noise? Okay, well, they don't want me in there. Controls in this game are really, really interesting. Oh, crows. Madam? Lovely. Oh my god. <gasps> oh, okay. <sighs> yup, yeah, I just. My son has been decapitated. That doesn't this sound good. This is Nazarsky, ID 656210. Can anyone hear me? Great. I don't think so, buddy. Okay, Dan. Maybe it's not him. Doesn't have to be. Lights are out. Operational efficiency restored. Well, someone's dead. This is Lazarski 65621 home, setting up a crime scene. I need to check the victim's compass for connection. Oh. Six million volts wasn't enough. Wow. Okay. Six million volt stun baton? Erratic cutting pattern. Indicating the killer was in a frenzy. Lovely. Blood! Homo sapiens. No match found. Well, that's just lovely. It's really interesting. Oh, it's a processor. That's a i7 in there. Printed on real paper. A little archaic. Little archaic for you, Adam. What do we got here? Motherboard. That is... That is an old motherboard. Okay, here we go. Chiron Incorporated. High, High level, level clearance. clearance. Looks genuine, but it's expired. So he used to work for him. Oh, okay, here we go. The head was removed post-mortem. It's possible the killer took it. Motive. Unclear. Lovely. Uh, this is just going to be the whole body now? ID yeah. check. Failed. Time of death. About an hour ago. Before he called me. Before he called me. Well, that's a good... That's a good sign. That's that's good. That means it might not be my son. What are you? Keypad? Is this just art? That looks super cool. Victim is equipped with an ID mixer. Identification not possible. Damn it. Okay, we got some more blood over here. More lacerations. What the fuck do we have here? Claw marks. Uh, we gonna check this out. Panel's busted. Signal must have come from somewhere else. Shh. Guess I triggered the security system. Must be a way to deactivate it. Well, yeah, I would assume that it'd be this keypad over here. Let's go ahead and close that door. Oop, we got some blood on the wall. Oh, that's not a thing, though. How am I supposed to know what this code is? Okay, middle hack. Connection established. Lovely. Okay. Four. Four is the last one. Do I have to keep continuously hack it to like figure out the rest? Yeah. Well, this is interesting. We actually have to do some detective work and try to figure out what this code might be. 1984. That's what it is. Solid. Access granted. Okay. Okay, I don't even 
know what I'm looking at. A glitch in the system. A brief history of nanophage. Oh, man. Okay. They know. Listen, I know you're a busy man and all, but we gotta talk now. I think they're on to me. For real this time. I'm almost certain someone followed me home yesterday and all. Today, I saw this weird guy outside my window, just standing there. If you can't guarantee my safety, then I'm out. I've got enough problems as it is. As far as our little mule goes, don't worry, I can manage her. She's not like us. She knows she's in over her head, and it clearly terrifies her. You can't expect too much from a simple mind. For now, just focus on your work and leave the human relations aspect of our project to me. For the time being, calm down, maintain focus, eyes on the prize, Jay. P.S. Glad I like, glad you like the piece. I think it captures the essence of what we're trying to accomplish. Downtown Inferno. If you guys want to read this, you can pause. Corrupted data, corrupted data, corrupted data, all corrupted. And it looks like there's no way that I can hack any of this programs. I've deactivated the apartment security system. Okay. Leaving the crime scene. Leaving the crime scene. This just doesn't feel right. You're still alive. I know it. talk to you. You broke it! No, you broke it! Nuh-uh! Will you get these kids to shut up? I'm fucking talking here! Okay. Yeah, what's this about? Do you know the tenant in apartment 7? Dad, Tommy's picking on me! Shut up, snitch! I thought I told you to shut up! 7, huh? Nah. Can't Lovely say that family. I know the guy. Okay, so it's a guy. Yeah, well, seen him once or twice. I might have a vague recollection. Could you give me a vague description? <laughs> Maybe. What's it to you? My son might have been staying in that apartment. I'm trying to find him. Well, why don't you tell me what he looks like? I'll let you know if it rings a bell. Weird dude. We lost touch. It's been a while. Huh. Sign of the times, I guess. See, I'm a family man myself. You shut up! No, <laughs> you shut up! No, you! I swear, if you <sighs> don't shut up this instant... Family man. Uh, yeah, I can tell. So, can you describe him or what? Young, probably in his 20s. Medium height, medium build. He wasn't very memorable. Hmm. Have you seen anything suspicious around the building? Any strangers skulking around? I have a feeling that if I nah, tell him about his shouting I kids, he might just give me a Bunch of losers. A lot of them. You are so dumb. Not as dumb as you are. Nuh-uh. You're way dumber. Shut the fuck up! Not upstanding citizens like you. <laughs> you bet your ass. Good thing we'll be getting out of this dump soon. Is that right? Yep, I've been working my way up. I even filed for a status upgrade. Once that goes through, we'll be moving to a B-class district in no time. Yeah, good luck with that. Alrighty then. Interesting. What? What do you want? Got a minute, sir? KPD. Oh, God! 
They're here! The cleaners are here! All right, then. Ooh, lovely bathroom you have here. With There's blood on it. KPD, I need to ask you some questions. Do you know what's going on? My hollow projection got cut off. I, I can't get a signal. The building is under lockdown. No external connection. Not much we can do. Hmm. Shit. Sounds serious. So, uh, you wanted to ask me something? Do you know who lives in apartment 7? Seven? I didn't even know anyone lived there. Uh, hmm. Hey, you wouldn't happen to know when they're gonna fix the connection. Not that it's like super important to me or anything. I just need to know. I'm not sure if anyone even knows we've been locked in. Lovely. It might take a while. Oh, God. I mean, sure, that's fine. It's just, you know, the apartment feels very small all of a sudden. <laughs> kind of claustrophobic. Is it hot in here? I'm sweating something awful. Just take a deep breath. It's going to be fine. Lovely. Of course it is. Why wouldn't it be? I'm just going to sit here and wait for them to fix it. Can you talk to me some more? It makes it kind of easier. You've been living here long? Oh, well, I have... Uh, it must have been at seven least seven or eight, or eight years. years. That's a long time. Ever had the lockdown before? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember my projector going off. Ever. Well, what do you want to talk about? <laughs> um, uh, yeah, you know, uh, Gorski the Giant was fighting Killer Cromer today. You an AMA fan? Uh, not really. <laughs> Sounds like you are. Of course, I don't know who won since my projector went out. Why are my uh, hands why shaking? Why are my hands shaking? Probably because you're a lunatic. I don't want to say that. Sorry, I don't have time for this. Oh, okay. Uh, I understand. It's no problem. I'll just sit here, alone. God, I'm really starting to sweat like a pig. <laughs> Hang in there. Okay. Hey, you there. Come here, quick. Excuse me. Don't tell me what, what to do, it? sir. What's up with the lockdown? Is it the phage? Was there an outbreak? A malfunction, more likely. You would say that, wouldn't you? To keep us at bay until the cleaners come. Oh, God, they're coming for me. I don't want to die. Calm down. Hmm. No one's coming. Lovely. Oh, well, let's, let's go ahead and try to hack here. Get my hacking shoes out. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, wow, this hack's going a lot better than the first one. Sick. The wall stands tall. Our brave boys and girls continue to defend us from the eastern hordes. Again, I'll let you guys read this if you want to. Just pause it. Request denial. Dear Mr. Drakowski. While we all greatly appreciate your exemplary service and the sacrifices you've made for your country, the VRI policy enforces a strictly proactive stance on helping our brave veterans re Reintegrate with society. Regular coverage requires a deed of permanent B-class employment. And your current janitorial position simply does not qualify. Given these circumstances, we must sadly deny your claim, and therefore force to terminate your participation in the program effective immediately. That's unfortunate. Enough is enough. Alright, we can read that later. Okay. So here's the ground floor people. Leon Grabinski was registered to actually live here. Of course. Two agents. Helena Novak, apartment 104, and Hannah Nader, apartment 106. Both on the same floor. Okay. That's the rest of that. Oh! 
Hey, there's a little game. Okay, I, I, I get it. Neat. I don't want to play that same one again. Let's do level two. This is the same thing. Oh, I see. This is level one. That was easy. Well, the janitor has something to keep him going. Don't Holy you? shit! You again? Oh my goodness! Not a good idea to sneak up on me, you know. Need to get out. Ooh. Police business. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know what you are. Oh yeah. Back during war. Took one alive. Sent for one. No few. My dog's losing her mind. To get into his head. If you're worried I'm gonna snap, don't be. They don't even let us carry guns anymore. <laughs> Not worried. Bust. Worry. Bust. Most things. <laughs> Lovely. You fought in the big one. Is that why you got all this junk in you? Plasma sweep. Ooh. Hit our convoy. <sighs> Borrowed through armor. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring back memories. Yes. Memories. Do a little dance for me. Yeah. What could you tell me about the tenant in apartment 7? Uh, uh, tenant? Yeah, tenant. How long has he been living there? Yeah, maybe longer. Not good with time. You ever talked to him? Fair. Didn't get out much. None of them do. All right, Tin Man. Let me know if it comes back to you. Something triggered the lockdown. Mm. Trying to get it open. Rudy and I. You think it might be the nanophage? You had any recent outbreaks? No. Last one. Long time ago. Down by the river. Inside of a van. All the damp ones. Bad implants. Bad. The implants. Can we lift the lockdown from the inside somehow? Or get a message out? No. Keep people in. Isolate. Accommodate. Alleviate. Yeah, we all know how that last one used to work. The take it, Rudy's the robot. Multifunction service and maintenance. Drone, don't lose it. <laughs> what? Mm. Want this stuff sometimes. Sometimes. I uh, need to track manually. Lovely. All right. I'm heading out. Can you give me full access to the building? Uh, uh -huh. uh, assistance. Unstable. Unlocked. What I could. Well, thank you. Thanks. You better stay here. There might be some very nasty people out there. Well, I nasty. Uh, uh, bad. Yeah, bad. Look, just stay safe. You know what? I never got your name. I'm Dan. Uh, name? Janus. Like, <laughs> like a Roman god. Roman god. 
That's you know, exactly what the Romans pictured when they named I gave him. you a hard time earlier. Good to meet you. Janus. He didn't say his name was Janus. Janus. He said his name was Janus. Don't butcher his name like that. That's not very nice. Ooh. Cerebral prosthetics. Prosthesis. Oh, he's got a lot of stuff in him. Respiratory tract. He has a prosthetic spine. Synthetic. Synthetic leg. And an arm. Wow, this poor bastard. I guess I can look at him this way, too. Human life form. 108 kilograms, 179 centimeters. Blood type B. This door down here is unlocked, though. And this I wanted to go into. I heard people talking in here. Ooh. Remove your implant. Fuck. Oh. Detected. No shit. Oh, that ain't dark for you. Well, I think that is uh, plenty, plenty of time for this episode. Really good so far. I'm really excited to get deeper into it and figure out exactly what's going on. But just look at that. Oh, this game is so amazing. I'm very excited to continue playing. But that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in another video. Bye.